Also making headlines tonight, controversy over classrooms. The Hoboken School District is asking voters to approve a multi-million dollar project to build a new high school. But not everybody thinks this is necessary or even worth the money. News 12 New Jersey's Marcy Rubin is at Dumarest Middle School right now. Marcy, people were actually able to see the plans tonight. Yeah, that's right. The school board, the board of education, the superintendent administration and their architects and developers presented their $241 million plan to bring that new high school here to Hoboken, the first of a handful of public information sessions. They say this is needed to keep up with growing population trends, but not everybody agrees. Many residents in this meeting tonight saying it's unnecessary, especially at the price tag and especially they say since they're the ones who will foot the bill. This is what the new Hoboken High School could look like if approved by voters next month. Four stories with classrooms, labs, libraries and gyms, plus a parking lot, indoor pool, ice skating rink and rooftop football field and track. Middle schoolers would move into the current high school, making room for another elementary. All of this for $241 million. There's also a, a community room here for, for use. The district says it's all needed with the city's population growing, according to the administration, up 180% since 1990, and school enrollment increasing with it, 154% more pre-K students now than 10 years ago. Demographic studies, the superintendent says, show that trend continuing. Not only did we see an enrollment growth over the last five or six years, but our projected enrollment growth on the basis of the demographers um, calculations showed that the high school um, was continuing to grow. But many aren't convinced the price tag is worth it with taxpayers being asked to foot the bill in the form of a 30 year bond costing residents an average of about $500 more in taxes a year. At an information session Tuesday, residents pointed out there's no guarantee enrollment will continue to rise and the current high school, they say, isn't near max capacity just yet. Many are also upset with how quickly this pricey process is being pushed through. They say they need more time and more information before they can vote. Uh, it's nice. It looks great. Uh, but again, a quarter of a billion dollars, we got to take our time and find the, you know, dot our I's and cross our T's. And that's what I'd like to do and look at some of the numbers. That the true motivation of this terrible endeavor is to attract children from wealthy families that currently go to private schools. All right, so Marcy, we saw the plans tonight, but walk us through what the next steps are. Well, Brittany, as I mentioned earlier, there are going to be a couple more of these public information question and answer sessions, the special election for voters to decide whether they want to push this through. That is scheduled for January 24th. If it fails, the Board of Ed can put another plan forward. They can try with this one again or uh, and if it does pass, however, on January 24th, they expect ground to be broken this coming summer with the doors to open to uh, uh, students as early as 2025. We're in Hoboken. Marcy Rubin, News 12, New Jersey. Brittany. Marcy, thank you.